What's up guys? So in this video, we're gonna be looking at exponential equations. We're gonna be looking at how to solve them, but also how to use a technique where we log both sides to figure out what the answer would be. Okay, so this first example here, two to the power of x is equal to 16. So we started with a pretty straightforward one because you can kind of just guess and check and figure out, all right, two to the power of what is equal to 16. So it's gonna be two, four, eight, 16. So two to the power of four. So two to the power of four equals 16. Okay, but sometimes they get a little bit harder like this. So two to the power of x plus one equals 32. So what you wanna do here is you wanna convert this 32 or make these two have the same base. So in other words, I'm trying to get the 32 to have a base of two. Now, two to the power of what is 32? So two, four, eight, 16, 32, two to the power of five. And when these bases are the same, you can just equate these indices by writing x plus one equals five. So x is equal to four. All right, what about this example here? So I've got three to the power of two x is equal to 81. So once again, I wanna try and make that 81 into a power of three. And mainly because I know that 81 is a power of three. So three to the power of four, I believe is 81. Now that the bases are the same, you can equate the powers. So two x equals four, x equal to two. All right, let's look at this one here. So this one looks like a much harder one. We've got a half to the power of x minus three is equal to eight. Now, once again, look at these numbers as your bases and you think, all right, I know two and eight are all powers of two. So I also know that a half can be written as two to the power of minus one, right? So I can write that as two to the power of minus one is equal to two to the power of minus one or to the power of x minus three is equal to two to the power of three, right? Because two cubed is eight. Now the bases are the same, okay? The bases are the same, but let's just bring this together so you can see it a bit clearer. Index laws says I multiply, so in the power I'm gonna have minus x plus three is equal to two to the power of three. Now the bases are the same, I can equate the powers. So minus x plus three is equal to two to the power of three. Oh, sorry. Minus x plus three is equal to three. So minus x is equal to zero, so x is equal to zero. All right, so what happens when your numbers are not powers of one another? So in other words, nothing to the power of, well, sorry, no um, whole number power of two is gonna give me 15. So what I can do is use this method where we can log both sides. And all that means is I write ln to the power of x is equal to ln 15. It doesn't really matter which log you use, but for this sake, I'm gonna use the natural log. Now, hopefully you watched the video on log laws. If you haven't, make sure you do that now. Because in log laws, we learned that this power can come to the front. So I can bring that power to the front, like so. And now I can get x by itself. So x is equal to ln 15 over ln two. Pop that in the calculator. ln 15 divided by ln two. So that's 3.91, let's call it. All right, so I've got eight to the power of x is equal to seven over nine. Let's do the same as before and log both sides. Now, Remember, I can bring this x out the front using the power law. So x ln eight is equal to ln seven over nine. I'm trying to get x by itself. So let's divide both sides by ln eight. Oh, right nine, right eight there. So let's see what my answer is. ln seven over nine divided by ln eight. That gives me minus 0.121 approximately. And let's just double check. Does eight to the power of that give me seven over nine? Yes, it does. All right, let's have a look at this example here. We've got 3000 is equal to 100 e to the power of n. Okay, so e is just the Euler's number, but we're just gonna treat it like a regular number. Okay, so I'm trying to find out what n is equal to. So what I need to do is divide both sides by 100 first to get rid of that. 3,000 divided by 100 is 30. So 30 is equal to e to the n. Now I'll just switch it around to make it a bit easier to read. Once again, log both sides whenever you're trying to find the power. Like so. Bring the n down using the power law. Okay, so you've got n ln e is equal to 30. Now. If I just rewrite this as the long kind of form, log base e of e is equal to ln 30, 
what is L at log E of E? Well, it's saying E to the power of what is going to give me E? And that's clearly 1. So this will just be N times 1 is equal to LN 30. So N is just LN 30. All right, let's have a look at this example. It's 5 to the power of 3X is equal to 3 times 5 to the power of X plus 1. So this time we've got kind of the exponents on either side, but the process is still the same. Let's log both sides to begin with. So log ln5 to the power of 3x equal to ln3 times 5 to the power of x plus 1, like so. So this bit here will be 3x ln5. Now remember from your log laws, when you have a multiplication here, you can split it up and write that as division, like so. So let's just clean this up a bit. Now ln3 plus, remember this, x plus 1 can come to the front, so x plus 1, ln5. Okay, now let's expand this out. So you've got 3x ln5 is equal to ln3 plus, expanding this out will be x ln5 plus ln5. Let's move this x to the other side, so 3x ln5 minus x ln5 is equal to ln3 plus ln5. Now here, hopefully you can see, I mean, you could factorize it, but these are actually like terms, aren't they? So you've got 3x ln5 minus x ln5, that's 2x ln5 is equal to ln3 plus ln5. Divide both sides by 2 ln5, so ln3 plus ln5 over 2 ln5. Put that in the calculator, so you've got ln3 plus ln5. Oh, that's not ln over 2 ln5 and your answer is 0 0.841 done all right last example today so here you've got 4 to the power of x minus 7 times 2 to the power of x plus 12 equals 0 now for these examples here although they look hard it's actually just a quadratic that's kind of hidden amongst these exponents and powers so what you want to do is you go you've got to recognize that 4 is a power of 2 so this can be written as 2 to the power of 2 or to the power of x like so and I can actually switch the 2 and the x around okay so that's going to make it a bit easier to see because that's just kind of order of operations now I didn't switch them there now hopefully you can see here you've got 2 to the power of x well here you've got 2 to the power of x and here you've also got 2 to the power of x so what we can do is we can say let u equal to the power of x. So u squared minus 7 times u plus 12 equals 0. Factorize that. So that's u minus 4, u minus 3, I believe, is equal to 0. So u is equal to 4 or 3. But we actually made that up. Like we made up the u um, equal to 2 to the power of x. So we've got to bring that back. Now, 2 to the power of x equals 4 is simple, so x is just 2, right? This should be 3. For this one, just a little bit more work, log both sides. Power down. So x is equal to ln 3 over ln 2. And we'll just leave it exact for that one. All right, that's it for today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you like this video, definitely give me a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.